What's up guys, my name is Brock, you're watching The Modest Man, and today we're talking about 15 great watches under $100. I get it, you want a nice watch, but you don't wanna spend a lot of money, or maybe you can't spend a lot of money right now. The good news is there are a ton of great watches that don't cost more than $100, and I'm not talking about fashion watches or luxury counterfeits. I'm talking about well-made timepieces from respectable brands. All of the watches on today's list look great and they're gonna keep on ticking for a long time. Speaking of saving money, huge thank you to today's sponsor, ShopTagger. ShopTagger is a free app that you can download on your computer and phone. It lets you save products from any store and organize them into wish lists. Then you'll get notifications via push notifications or email when these products either are back in stock or when they go on sale. For example, you could create a wish list of all of your favorite watches, watches that you might wanna buy eventually, even if you're not ready to buy them now, and then you'll get notified when they're either back in stock or when the price drops. Hey, maybe even some of the watches from today's video will end up on your list. When you are ready to buy, ShopTagger will automatically search the entire internet for any active coupon codes that you can apply to your cart so you get the best possible price. And did I mention that ShopTagger is free to use? I have it installed on Google Chrome and I personally use it whenever I'm buying something online just to make sure I'm getting the best price. Click the link in the description down below to start using ShopTagger and start saving money today. All right, so we're gonna talk about 15 great watches that cost less than $100. Rather than organizing these by price or brand, we're gonna do it by style. So we're gonna start with casual field watches. First up, and easily my number one affordable watch recommendation, we have the Seiko SNK. This is a casual or field watch. It's 37 millimeters in diameter. It's got an automatic mechanical movement and it's just $89. The SNK 809 is possibly the best affordable automatic watch on the market right now especially if you like the kind of field watch aesthetic. It looks great on any strap. It's stock strap, uh, leather, NATO, canvas, really whatever you want. Uh, the 809 version is black, but this is also available in red and blue, cream and an olive green. I owned this watch for a few years and really loved it. It's an excellent choice for your first watch or if you're giving a watch as a gift to somebody else. If you want more details about this watch, check out my SNK805 video review. Next up, we have the Timex Weekender Chrono. This is a 40 millimeter watch. It's got a quartz battery powered movement and it's priced at just $49. A chronograph is like an analog stopwatch and the Timex Weekender Chrono might just be the best affordable chronograph on the market right now. It's 40 millimeter size, silver hardware and date window make it very wearable and very practical for the vast majority of men. This watch comes with a variety of dial and strap combinations and remember you can always swap out that strap for something else. And the last watch in this category is the Bertucci A1R Field Comfort. This is a 30 six millimeter watch quartz powered and it costs just $55. If you really like the field watch aesthetic, but you don't want to spend a ton of money, I think that you should check out Bertucci. It's a brand that specializes in field watches. Built for comfort, the A1R is a lightweight 36 millimeter watch, so it will just disappear on your wrist. It's small, but packed with features. It's got a reinforced polycarbonate case, a smooth comfort web band, and Swiss super luminous hands and markers. If you love the way this watch looks but you need something a little bigger check out the dx3 instead all right our next category is sport and dive watches first up the seiko sne 093 solar watch this is another 37 millimeter watch it's also quartz powered and it's priced at just 99 dollars just under our $100 price point. As with a lot of Seiko watches, you're getting a ton of value here for the price. This 37 millimeter watch is extremely practical. It's gonna go with pretty much any outfit, no matter how casual or formal. And since it's a solar powered quartz movement, it's as low maintenance as a watch can be. It's another excellent choice for someone's first watch or for a gift. Next up, we have the Casio MDV 106 Dive Watch. This is a 44 millimeter watch. It's a quartz watch and it's priced at just $45. There's a reason this Casio Dive Watch has four and a half out of five stars with over 5,000 reviews on Amazon. It might be the best dive watch under $50 that you can find right now. Like so many divers, this one is modeled after the Rolex 
Submariner, so it has that look. It also might remind you of something like the Seiko SKX 007, but it's a fraction of the price. With 200 meters water resistance, you can definitely take this swimming, you can take it underwater, snorkeling, even some light diving, although I wouldn't take it on any extreme scuba diving expeditions. Keep in mind, it's a big watch at 44 millimeters, so it's not a great choice for guys with smaller wrists. Next up, we have the Orient TriStar Automatic. This is a 39 millimeter watch. It's got an automatic movement, and its price is just $80. This is an affordable, stunning automatic watch from Japanese watchmaker Orient. And in my opinion, the TriStar or the Three Star is super underrated. You just don't see it very often. The dial is 39 millimeters. It's 11 millimeters thick, so it's very wearable for almost anybody. It's a stainless steel watch powered by an in-house Japanese automatic movement, so it's gonna be very accurate and very reliable. If you don't like the black dial, there's a bunch of different dial colors, and you can always swap out that strap for something else. All right, moving on to our next category, let's talk about great affordable dress watches. First up, no surprise here, we have the Orient Bambino version two. This is a dress watch. It's 40 and a half millimeters uh, diameter. It's an automatic movement priced at $99. The Orient Bambino might be the most beloved entry-level dress watch among watch enthusiasts, and for good reason. With a universally pleasing 40 millimeter case, uh, a domed crystal, dauphine hands, sunburst dial, and that Japanese automatic movement made in-house. There's a lot to like about the Bambino. And when it's on sale, you can find it for right around $100. That's an absolute steal. If this watch was made in Switzerland, it would be five times as much. So if you like the dress, the aesthetic, if you're like business casual or even wearing a suit for a lot of the days of the week, I think that the Orient Bambino is a great choice for a daily wear watch for you. Speaking of Orient, our next watch is the Orient Capital V2. So this is also a dressy watch. Watch. It's a little bigger at 43 millimeters. It's got a quartz movement and it's just $85. So this is a less popular uh, and a slightly more affordable watch from Orient. This one has a quartz movement or battery powered. So that allows it to be a thinner watch at just eight millimeters. So it's gonna slide under the cuff of any dress shirt very easily. Like the Bambino, this one has a day date complication. So you can see what day of the week it is and what day of the month it is. Bottom line, it's another great choice from one of the most respectable entry-level watchmakers in the world. And the last watch in our dress watch category is the Belova 96 B104. This is a minimal dress watch. It's just 37 millimeters, so it's a more classically dressy size. It's got a quartz movement, and it comes in at $95. So this watch is manufactured by citizen-owned Belova, a company that was founded almost 150 years ago, which is pretty crazy. And this is a very understated dress watch. It's an absolute classic. The 96 B104 has a pleasingly simple dial. It's complicated only by a small date window at three o'clock. This watch is relatively small, 37 millimeters, at least by today's standards, and it's ultra thin, so it's gonna disappear on your wrist. In my opinion, this is a great alternative to something like a Daniel Wellington Sheffield or something from Movement because it has that minimal aesthetic, but it's from a brand that has a lot of heritage and a lot of experience making watches. Speaking of minimal, let's look at some minimal watches. First up, we have the Swatch once again. This is a casual minimal watch, 33 millimeters, so very small by today's standards, almost a women's or unisex size. It's a quartz movement and it's just $38. This watch is instantly recognizable. It's a classic Swatch. It's easy to wear, it's easy to read. It's perfect for anybody with smaller wrists, like if your wrists are six inches or smaller in diameter, I think this is a great choice for you. If you love the way this watch looks, but you want something a little bigger, a little more contemporary, check out the Swatch twice again, which comes in at 41 millimeters. Another great affordable minimal watch is the Casio MQ24 resin watch. This one is 35 millimeters, so it's still small, but a little bit bigger than the Swatch once again. It's also a course watch, and this one is just $12. It's available in black, white, or cream 
for a whopping $12 on Amazon. Uh, this is a classic Casio. It's kind of the analog version of the F91W. I personally think the 35 millimeter size just adds to its retro charm, and I encourage you not to be afraid to wear a smaller watch, even if you have average or bigger wrists. Remember, Muhammad Ali wore a Cartier tank. This watch is also just eight millimeters thick, so it's gonna sit very closely to your wrist, which is kind of nice in my opinion. Our next minimal aesthetic watch is the Timex Fair field. So this is a minimal watch. It's actually available in a 41 millimeter size or a 37 millimeter size. So something for anybody. It's a quartz watch and its price is just $46. Available with a wide variety of straps, the Timex Fairfield is probably the best Daniel Wellington alternative that you can find right now. It has the same clean lines and simple minimalist design aesthetic as the Daniel Wellington, but it's from Timex, a brand that's been making watches for a long, long time, since 1854 actually, and it's actually more affordable than a Daniel Wellington, so it's kind of a win-win. If you buy the Fairfield, either the 41 or the 37 millimeter, and a couple of extra straps, you'll pretty much have a watch that you can wear for any occasion. All right, in our last category for today, let's look at some affordable digital watches. First up, we have the Casio F91W. This is a 33 millimeter angular watch, so it's more of a square shape. It's battery powered and it's just $11. This small, lightweight digital sports watch from Casio is arguably the ultimate affordable watch. For under $15, it might be the best deal in watches right now, and it has been for a long time. You know, at just 33 millimeters, it is very small by today's standards. It's also very light and very thin, so it will vanish on your wrist. It's almost like wearing a bracelet, but it's chock full of features. It's got a night light, a stopwatch, an alarm, a calendar, a date display, and water resistance. It's a true beater for the price. I'm actually wearing the F84W, which is just a slightly different version of this watch made for the Japanese domestic market. I like the way it looks a little better. Plus everybody has the F91W and this one's just a little different. Either way, it's a great watch. And I've actually taken this swimming a bunch of times it holds up in salt water and uh, with submersion. So uh, it's just a great little beater watch, especially if you just need something that you can take on vacation and that you don't wanna worry about. Next up, we have another watch from Casio, the Casio World Timer. It's a 39 and a half millimeter watch battery powered obviously and it's 20 bucks so this is another throwback this is uh, an absolute classic it's a must have for anybody who collects digital watches again chock full of features it's got daily alarms timer stopwatch a world time indicator obviously hence the name and a backlight for nighttime visibility with a 39 and a half millimeter case it's not as big as something like the g-shock but it is way bigger than the f91w and with 100 meters water resistance you can definitely take this swimming and last but certainly not least, we have the Casio G-Shock 5600 BB, a much bigger watch at 48 and a half millimeters. This is also battery powered and it comes in at just $40. This is a large watch and almost 49 millimeters. So it's not a great choice for guys with very thin wrists, but it's a classic nonetheless. You know, there's a reason that G-Shocks are worn by law enforcement and military personnel and extreme athletes they are bulletproof. I mean, they can really take a beating and, and pretty much withstand anything you throw at them. It's got shock resistance, 200 meters water resistance. It's got a backlight. You can take this almost anywhere except for to like a black tie gala. Many watch collectors wouldn't consider their collection complete without a G-Shock and the 5600 BB is one of the best sellers. If you love this watch, if you love the G-Shock, but you just can't wear something that big, check out the Baby G line. And that's it. Those are 15 great watches that all cost $100 or less. They're all from respectable brands. They're designed nicely. So remember, you don't have to spend a lot of money to have a great watch. You know, any of the watches in this video are great choices for your first watch or a gift for a close friend, or if you just wanna add something to your collection without spending a lot of money. Also, don't overthink your first purchase too much if you are buying your first watch. And remember, it's all about buying the watch that you love, the watch that gets you looking down at your wrist more often. And so if you do wanna buy a so-called fashion watch, that's fine too. You know, if you love the way a movement watch or a Daniel Wellington looks, go ahead and buy that. Whatever you end up with, I hope you wear it in good health. If you have any questions for me, let me know down in the comments. Thank you as always for watching and until next time, stay stylish.